Well, welcome to Debbie's Back Porch. So glad to have you on this hot summer night. It's 97 degrees outside, so we're not cooking. We're having ceviche. No cooking required. Here are the ingredients. Please pause and write them down. And hey, you know, if you like our videos, we appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get cooking or not. Well, in case you're not familiar with ceviche, uh, it's a method of preparing fish and vegetables without using any heat. And, and you really are sort of cooking the fish. It's not raw fish, but you're denaturing it with acid instead of with heat. Because yes, cooking is also denaturing. So I have here about an eight ounce piece of white fish. And I'll tell you right now, the recipe calls for a pound. I only have half a pound. I'm going with it. But you probably want to use a pound. We're drying it off really well. Uh, and, you know, you can use any kind of fish you want, pretty much. Or shrimp or scallops. This is a piece of whiting. Uh, and you really probably want to use fresh fish. This was in my freezer. Uh, but it's really fresh and still really firm. So we're going to cut it up small pieces, and that's very important, small pieces. How small? Well, I'm going to say baby bites. I'm cutting that about a quarter inch, and then I'll go back and cut the bigger pieces again. Because, you know, as I said, this is not raw fish, and uh, cooking it in acid or denaturing it in acid, it's going to take a little bit longer than denaturing it with heat. So you want very small pieces and pretty uniform. And I mentioned you can do this with shrimp or other shellfish. Uh, but I should tell you that if you do this with uh, shellfish, you're going to need to poach the meat first. And I'll do that someday and show you how. Uh, but you don't go with totally raw uh, shellfish. This is only going to marinate for um, an hour or so. And if you're use, using shellfish, an hour is not enough, and if you leave it longer than that, it starts getting tough and rubbery. So here we go. This is my piece of fish all cut up, ready for the next step. So I have two limes and three lemons, because my lemons are kind of small. Uh, two would probably be enough if you've got a regular size lemon. And we're going to squeeze these out, get a little pulp, no seeds. And you know I got this new squeezer gadget, and everybody in the world probably already had one except me and as with so many gadgets I'm probably going to go back to just squeezing by hand but I do want to get uh, as much out of these as I can and you might even want to add the zest of half of one of these lemons that'd be okay if you want more lemony flavor your number of lemons and limes may vary what you want is enough to totally cover the fish uh, we're going to salt it a little first I'm not adding any pepper because I'm going to have lots of pepper in the vegetables. So here's my juice and we're going to pour it over and you want to uh, stir it up a little bit. Make sure the acid comes in contact with every piece of fish. And as you stir it, you can see the fish already start to whiten up. Um, and this will cook the fish, denature the fish, without making it rubbery. So I'm going to add a little more. I've got just a little bit left, and I'll add some more for the veggies. Uh, but I just want to make sure there's plenty to cover the fish totally. So cover this. We're going to put it in the fridge, not less than 20 minutes, not more than an hour. We're going to check it after about 20 minutes uh, and make sure that it's processing and marinating as it should. Um, but try not to do this more than an hour. That's why we want to cut our pieces really small. So on to the veggies, and luckily most of this came out of my garden. I have a lot of cucumbers. Some of them went a little past their prime. So I peeled them. If they were really young and fresh, I probably wouldn't. And I'm scooping out the seeds. Uh, one big cucumber is enough. Mine are kind of short. They're pickling cucumbers. And I'm going to chop them up fine, same size as the uh, fish, or as close to it as possible. And you know, all of these vegetable measurements, whoops, had a seed. All of these vegetable measurements uh, are flexible. 
change them based on what you've got in your garden. As long as you have the basic ingredients, you're going to be fine. But if you want more cucumbers, more peppers. So I've chopped these and I'm going to go through it again with my knife because I just don't want any big chunks. Everything needs to be about the same. You know, partly that's because you can eat this as a dip and we're going to eat it as a dip. So it needs to be small enough to stay on a chip. So here I have three medium to small uh, tomatoes. If you've got two nice sized tomatoes, that'll be plenty. Uh, quartering them and cutting out the core. And I know you've already got the drill here. Cut them into nice bite sized pieces. And you know what we're actually making here, if you don't count the fish, is pico de gallo, which is traditionally more peppers uh, than tomatoes. And I'm going to give you a heads up here. I'm going to fire my camera person. I did a really neat job of cutting up an avocado, and she didn't get it on camera, but here's an avocado in bite-sized pieces. And I've got four pretty nice green onions here. You know, you can use um, about a half of a medium regular onion. Purple onion is what folks usually go with. I'm trying to stick with stuff from my garden. So uh, I'm going to use the green onions and I'm going to cut well up into the green section, up as far as it's crisp and fresh for the color. Uh, I just think that's beautiful. Uh, we have plenty of green, but you know, it's going to look good. And I'm going to add some little purple shallots from my garden too, so that'll bring the purple. Then I have here about a third of a big red pepper, and yes, I bought this. I don't have any red peppers yet. I do have green though. And I often say the choice of peppers in dishes like this is very personal. I like to go with sweet peppers. I'm going to add one poblano for a tiny bit of bite, uh, but I don't really like hot red peppers. I just know some of you are going with a Serrano or a Carolina Reaper. Not me. I go for sweet. Uh, and these are sweet bell peppers. So again, chop them fine. How much peppers you use is pretty much up to you. Somewhere between a half a cup and a whole cup of peppers. As I say, traditionally, you want to go with more peppers than onions. This is a green pepper from my garden and a poblano from my garden. And I don't think I have to mention, but I will. You want to de-seed these and you want to cut away the white membrane uh, that's on the inside and then chop them up really fine. I like poblanos. They have just a little bit of bite, um, but they don't make you cry. So now I have a nice big bunch of cilantro. Uh, I'm going to cut the stalks off and then I just kind of roll it up and I guess this is somewhere between a half a cup and a cup of cilantro and I understand some people don't like cilantro I, I love cilantro but if you don't go with parsley uh, but you do want that nice green fresh flavor so don't just leave it out parsley or cilantro either one uh, and chop it chop it chop it remember this is a dip and then my three little shallots, they're babies. I'm pulling them young, uh, but they're so pretty. This is my first year growing shallots. And if I keep pulling them young, I'm going to end up without any uh, to store. But that's okay. They're good. And now two cloves of my homegrown garlic on the microplane because we don't want big chunks of garlic. And you may have noticed I switched to a bigger bowl. I kind of overdid it. If this marinates, it's going to shrink down a lot. So a good bit of salt. That's a teaspoonful of salt because this is a lot of veggies and you want them to weep a little bit. It helps with that. So now the lemon juice, that's what was left. And then I'm going to squeeze one more lemon. Um, that's about a lemon and a half. You know, I've got small lemon. And you can use lime instead and some folks even mix it half and half. Uh, with some orange juice and that's good. I, I've had it with orange juice uh, But it's up to you as long as it's acid So stir it up well, and then let's give it a taste. We're giving it a taste for Salt and more acid if you want it. I am NOT adding pepper to this uh, But you may add black pepper if that's what you want 
and I'm adding some olive oil between one and two ounces just based on how many veggies you have. Uh, sunflower oil is usually recommended. I just wanted olive this time. And now everything's in. We're going to cover this and we're going to refrigerate it for at least 20 minutes. And timing does matter on this because you want your veggies to marinate at least 20 minutes and your fish to marinate no more than an hour. So I'm going to check it and you can see that the fish is cooking, quote unquote cooking. Um, and it's almost white all the way through, but we're going to stir it up just to make sure all the little pieces are covered. And then we're going to put it back in the fridge until the veggies are ready. And here they are. See how much they've reduced down. 20 minutes marinating and everything is melded together. This is going to be so good. And we'll check our fish to make sure that it's totally white all the way through. And I want you to look at that. Now, I told you this was not raw fish. Uh, this is cooked fish. It's done and it's not rubbery. Uh, it's just wonderful and as if you had cooked it to perfection, only better. So let's drain off the citrus juice and put it all together. So I'm going to serve this in a bowl as a dip uh, and I'll add uh, some of the salad first, some of the veggies first, and then the fish, and then a little bit more of the veggies. And I'll mix it together that way just to make sure it gets all the way through. I would just mix it all in the big bowl, but not everybody wants fish, so I'm going to have some uh, pico without the fish in it. Um, but I want the fish. So let's give it a good mix, and I'm going to end up here with just a little more veggies than I do fish. And don't forget the original recipe called for a whole pound of fish. That would work out about half and half if I were using all the veggies. So let's plate this up now and show you how we serve it and what we've got. So I'm serving this with some nice, fresh, organic corn chips. Uh, and I'm going to just pile this on. You could also serve this in a taco shell or on a flat tortilla. Um, let's see if I can get all this on here. I want just a little bit of everything. You can serve it pretty much any way you want to. It would make great fish tacos with just a little lettuce. Um, and you know I love this. I could eat this whole bowl. And, and I might. No, I'll share. Uh, but it is just wonderful. Um, and I think next time I'm going to get the big round flat tortillas. Uh, and have it like a ceviche pizza. So I'm going to have another bite, and I wish you could join me. Thank you for joining us on Debbie's Back Porch. Hope to see you again tomorrow, and I hope you make this perfect hot summer night ceviche.